word teens this month the biblical phrase which we want to deepen and live is taken from the letters of saint paul to the romans who will separate us from the love of christ romans chapter 8 verse 35 at times we might say i believe or at least i want to believe in god's love for me however often we are not as courageous about believing as we should be like when we are in difficult moments yes or when we are tempted to do something wrong or uh, when we are seriously ill at times it is very easy to let doubts enter our hearts and confuse us well that's kind of true but how do i know is it really true that god loves me god tells us not to doubt his love even when it's hard how we need to entrust ourselves totally to him like how small children trust completely in their parents yes we give ourselves completely to god with immense trust without hesitating confident that god is our father and that he loves us yes you got it right with this trust in god we can overcome even moments when everything seems dark and empty by accepting the cross in the present moment why don't we throw ourselves into loving god by starting to love others let's try i'm sure that if we do so we'll experience that with jesus we have great strength and special joy in our hearts kiara lobek once said if we live like this we will realize how true it is that for those who believe in god and abandon themselves in his love everything is transformed the negative becomes positive death becomes a source of life and darkness gives way to a brilliant light when we keep loving in difficult moments we transform what is negative into something positive god is not a judge he comes to our defense and takes everything on himself nothing can separate us from him every since we became friends of his beloved son jesus no problem is too big for the love of god whether it would be within ourselves in others or in the world around us and no difficulty is too great for him to resolve wow so it's really true that god loves me yes saint paul in the same letter to the romans said this in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us sorry i didn't quite understand what paul what paul is trying to say is that if we give ourselves totally to god and trust him we will be super victorious precisely in the most difficult situations ah now i think i got it you see nowadays people talk a lot about superheroes and superman or superwoman who try to convince everyone that they are the best and the most powerful but the gospel tells us that love and openness to others is the most powerful force for building a better world really so how much do we have to love and practice openness to achieve a better world that's a question that we we'll address in the next month's word of life So what are you waiting for? Let's start living the world.